Welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Kelly Sparks. Hey, dude. So today, I am going to go ahead and just jump right into it. I've got a review of the 15-year already posted uh, a while back. We've already reviewed the 12, we've reviewed the new 9-year, and we've reviewed the old 9-year. Uh, I've got all four samples in front of me, and uh, we're going to go ahead and just get into it. Let's do it. That one smells really good. Maybe a maybe a little peanut. That might be the young one, the new one. Man, those are almost identical. <laughs> trying to rip the door off the edges. Those are pretty damn close. That one's got a little more depth to it. Same with that one. They're all really close. They have, I feel like this is the young one or the new nine year. Uh, but they all have very similar profiles. So we're gonna go ahead and start with my right and your left. I definitely feel like this is one of the nine years. It might be the new one, it might not, I don't know. Today, I'm not really trying to pick which one's which, I'm just trying to figure out which one is the best to me. All right, forgot to bring a bottle of water. I might have to pause and then come right back to it. I'll go through the first ones and then we'll uh, take a short break. I'll figure out which one I really like and then we'll, we'll come back to it. All right, let's get a sip. Second one, a little flat on the palate. Flavor profile, I mean the flavor profiles are gonna be really consistent across the board, but not as nutty as the first one, but Maybe it's a little thin on the palate. I don't know. It's kind of weird. All right, let's see how this this third one goes. All right, a little more depth and volume on this third one. A little bit better flavor profile than the first two. So, right now, if I'd had to pick, I'd pick the third glass over the first two. Probably actually three or one, two, and three, just in that order. But still trying to figure things out. I'm gonna go ahead and get the last sip and then I'll pause, take a quick break, wash my palate out, and then just run through them off camera and figure out what's what. Number four definitely has the, the deeper, darker flavors. I feel like these two are probably the 12 and the 15 and these are the, the two nines. So far, it's going to be a it's going to be a battle, in my opinion, right now between glasses three and four. So I'm gonna get a quick water, figure out what's what, come to my decision. I'll be right back. Two hours later. All right. So through much deliberation, oh, that's the right word. I've come out to figure. I've come to figure out which ones I like the best. I'm actually gonna to have to go with glass number three in first place, glass number four in second, glass number two in third, and glass number one in last place. So, with that said, let's go ahead and figure out what's what. In last place, let's see if I was correct. See if that funky, nutty note stood out enough, and if I'm that good. And in last place we have the new Knob Creek nine year. So, where is that? Right there. That funky nutty note, it's it's very present and it's definitely, you can pick it out of the crowd. So, in third place, we have, whew, ooh, an upset. In third place, we have the 15 year. Ooh, wow. So there is a sweet spot when it comes to 
Knob Creek. I mean, it was good, but these two were legitimately better. So that just means to me that the in this setting, in this setting, folks, the old Knob Creek nine year beat out the 15 year old Knob Creek. Make sure I read that right. It is true, 15 year. So, and in first place, we're gonna go ahead and read off first place. The old Knob Creek nine year might have won the whole lot and it was that good. We'll see what happens. In first place, we have this four knob Coxworthy battle. We have the whole knob creek nine here. Oh no. Wow. Okay. So that's oh man. That's two videos in a row where the old version beat out the new the old number nine and it th those two were a close battle the 12 year and the nine went back and forth what the hell is the cat doing out there the 12 and the nine year went back and forth the old nine and it was extremely close and the old nine just had a little bit just a little more character not much and it was it was neck and neck and I, I mean as you can see I went through most of that I mean I, I, I tested retested tested again tested one more time and that old Knob Creek nine year hmm just came out on top <sighs> fuck <laughs> anyway uh, that's all I got so the old knob is better than the new like always <laughs> old knob is better than young knob any day of the week don't forget like the video please subscribe uh, check the description below for the way for all the ways to help out with the bills around the house it's much appreciated check out patreon thank you to all my patrons don't forget we got the scotch whiskey advent calendar coming up next month starting on the first it's going to be a double blind for everyone details coming soon don't forget to check out the Bearded Idiots, like always, drink some whiskey. Oh yeah, thanks to Wesley Blaylock for loaning me this whiskey here and getting me a job. <laughs> uh, thank you to everybody. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you had a good Thanksgiving. Like always, drink some whiskey. Share it with your friends and family. Be safe. Don't drink and drive. Take care. We'll see you next time. Cheers.